Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to fix a lot of problems that people had and complained in my video, how to set up Dolphin Emulator to play Pokemon Battle Revolution and with customized Pokemon. And there was a lot of complaints uh, that a lot of, a lot of people had and uh, while setting up the emulator and getting the game actually to start with the custom third party program that called PK Hex and yeah I picked a lot of comments the most of that I think makes sense and I'm gonna read them in the video and while I read the comment then I'm gonna skip to my desktop and actually show you how to fix it and with anything further ado guys let's hop straight up to my desktop and uh, I'm gonna see you there the first comment comes from Dr. Penguin 11 months ago and he says I don't have the user folder so to actually find your user folder guys for the Dolphin emulator where you can put your save file in there are two ways to do it the first one is the complicated one but it's not that complicated so the first thing you do you go to your uh, file explorer and all the people actually do this and i know that for 100 percent let's say i saved my dolphin emulator and downloads right then people would go to dolphin emulator directly and search actually in the dolphin emulator folder but that is not the case anymore right this is not anymore the case from uh, because they have uh, they have it updated so what you need to do guys actually is close um, your dolphin emulator folder once again go to uh, file explorer and what you need to do is to go to this pc and instead of going to your dolphin uh dolphin emulator folder you go to documents and here you will see another folder that dolphin actually makes when you the first time actually start it so you go inside here and here you can find actually your um yeah your folder here it is we and from here you go to titles and hold up if i'm not wrong oh okay it's not here it's probably the other one content no it's not content it's data and here it is guys genius prb that means genius pokemon battle revolution and here you have to put yeah your save file so this is the first way to do it just really simple click on open just to uh, dolphin emulator directly highlight your uh, game that you want uh, to put the save file in right click it and then like directly open we save folder that is it is and voila you get directly to your save folder with any trouble and arrows just click on it put your save file in and yeah you're done so you are more than welcome mr penguin and the other people that struggled with this problem the second comment is from slay guy nine months ago and he says for some reasons my save file comes out as a text file so the game can't read it any suggestions so there could be uh you know for the sake of the video guys we're gonna go to actually hold up we're gonna actually to my video here as you might say and i this is my channel i provide the save file here as a media fire media fire sites here it is you click on the link you get here it says pokemon battle revolution save data nothing more nothing less you click only download wait a little bit we're waiting for it and it has downloaded right now if i try to open it it's not gonna open for me you see um so let's see is it oh sorry guys now let's see is it a text file because i know for some reason it's not people might trolling i'm not really sure i'm not gonna uh, attempt that people actually trolling here it is let's see what is it type of file it's only a file guys so it's perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with it and uh, yeah so the, the only reason i think it might be a text file is when you was trying to open it and accidentally press like uh, let's see like let's show you like like explaining is something and showing and explaining is something so what you probably might have done sly guy is to click double double click it and while doing that you selected probably that notepad and then it's got a uh, 
it's got confirmed or like you know it's got changed to a text text file um i think it's somehow it is possible to fix it but um in the worst case if it's not fixable for you just go to a friend download it from his computer uh put it on your usb uh usb stick and get it home to your computer and i think you will be good or you could use a different browser. I think the browser is, is, does play a role. I would suggest you to use Google Chrome and download it. And you will be good, guys. You will come. The third question is from Mustafa Uzkurt. Five months ago, edit, by the way. I am from Germany and I tried to copy your boxes to my save games. This worked with Pika Hex without any error, but I can't choose custom pass. It seems like that I need to somehow create a custom pass first. How is this possible without a DS? Now you don't need one. I think you probably just don't know how to how to do it. So what you need to do guys is to go to your dolphin emulator, open it, open the game, just like I do. And wait a little bit. Let's uh, try to go as fast as possible here. Alright. Pokemon Battle Revolution. Let's click on it. It reads the save file. It's the same save files I provide you with. You go to Colosseum. Continue. You go to the file. Save file that you want, have. That I provided you with. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. Alright, so what you need to do is, again I go back, so you go here, battle pass, and then you go to custom pass. And from here guys, you can customize your cost custom pass as you wish, you have three at the beginning. Do this, it's really easy, create custom pass, and choose a character, okay we just gonna choose this guy. Enter name. We're gonna call gonna name me. Am. Oh no, not not Nate. I, I don't want to be Nate. Man, I'm picky at the, at the tutorial. How can, is this possible? Come on, man. Where's the? M. A M. Oh my God! I cannot my own. I cannot write my own name. How how embarrassing is this? M. Where's the U? All right. Good. Well, our name is Emu, so you recognize it's me. S M I C. Done blah 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 and then you click on it and you see you have access to all the pokemon i provided you it that's how you can customize guys your custom passes you don't need the 3ds set it in and we go to our random box again tall fan because we love this guy just for just for the sake of you guys i'm just gonna pick random don't judge me on my team don't judge me on my team boys we want Yo, Entei, I see you, my boy. Hey, my team is not bad, actually. Let me be honest here. Hey, Raichu, come on, man. Raichu's dope. And we go going for... Yo, Tyranita, I see you, TT. So, when I did all that, guys, just right-click and right-click again. And, yeah, custom pass is done. That's, that's all. That's all. That's how you do it. You don't need a DS. And then, like, when you go to battle... You can use it there uh, against your friend and that's how you actually custom pass without to actually need to have a DS. You will come guys, you will come. This comment comes from Breno P. Five months ago. Hey, how I configure my joystick, please help. Now the question, now I have actually a question for you because you asked me actually a question but the question is not really like, I don't know really what you ask, ask for but probably um, if it is, if you're asking how to configure your um, controller to play Pokemon Battle Revolution, you don't need a controller. Um, wh when you want to play Pokemon Battle Revolution, the only thing you're gonna need to play the game and enjoy it and the full enjoyment thing is all you need only your mouse. You literally need only your mouse. Like you click on the on the game, you started it and i really I, I i could do the second camp so i could show you but you probably gonna believe me um 
Like literally guys, right now, hold up. I click the left I click the left button and I used my mouse as like a, as this Joy-Con. I really use the mouse and I can really do you see you don't need a controller like to play the game and it's functional fully with only your mouse. Your mouse is like this uh, motion controller for the Wii. So this is one thing out of the way. Um, but but if you like asking me to configure your controller like for other games then Pokemon Battle Revolution then you just go to controls port 1 standard and depends on what you want for controls emulation Wii's and this is the GameCube so you go down here emulate Wii U remote to see for the Wii U games and, and you just go and configure and here just put the buttons in motion simulation general option uh, and options and here you can just put the controls in you choose what you cont uh, control is and for me it's really uh, keyboard and mouse for the Wii U but for the GameCube it's my uh, Xbox one controller that I use and you just click on on like this and then you push put the control uh, put uh, the input from your controller and you got it and that's how you actually do it man that's nothing too complicated but uh, if you're really asking um for pokemon battle revolution uh Bru bruno p you only need your mouse and uh, you're more than good to go that's hopefully answer your question and other questions the other questions thank you this comment comes from aaron Kadisky katsky i'm sorry if i butchered your name by the way uh, three months ago, I've done everything exactly as you have, but for some reason it just says fail to read the save data. Is there something that I might have missed? Let me actually go to um, PKX. I have it on here. Downloads. So this PKX, I'm gonna open it. So let's see. This is PKX right here. Um, go right here. And you ask whenever you try to edit it, the PKX. Uh, Program would say your file is wrong or cannot be opened and blah blah blah. Let's see. Let's try it actually out. Let's try mine out. All right. If you uh, use my save file that I provided you with in the video, uh, Aaron, then uh, it does work. But but I have a fix for it. Don't you worry. In case, and I'm just saying, as you said, it it says that PKX program cannot read your save file right that i provide you with it's really easy fix the only thing you need to do is close pk hex right close pk pk hex um go to the save file that i provided you with in the last time in the last video my this is this one just click on it highlighted it copy it and put it on Put it in dolphin as i showed you in the video and once again if you want just do this is the easiest way go click on the game right click open we save folder then you get directed directly to the save folder file where you have to put the folder right here you see i'm gonna put it in just do that so that is in this that is safe that's the save file is in the game uh save game folder right start your game and inside the game, uh, Aaron, or oh guys, save a couple times, like save uh, one more, one, two, three, four times the game, right? Like I'm gonna show you really what I mean. Like if I don't show you, I feel like I'm not doing my work. All right, one more time, Pokemon Battle Revolution action here on the screen. All right, you're going in. Because sometimes there is like a corruption where PKX cannot read the save file, even it's legit and it's fully correct. But that happens. All right, where's where can I save? Ah, here. You go here and uh, save game and save like like once and continue. Go again in, save the game one more time, like two to three times, right? And quit. 
and that will fix the problem actually that pickaxe will actually say to you close uh, dolphin close dolphin and then go back to pickaxe um erin and guys i'm sorry um where is pickaxe it wasn't downloads so reopen pickaxe again and um of course you're not going to use this one that you have in the download. You have to use the one that I provided you with. Uh, no, uh, sorry. You have to use the one that you have put in in the game folder. So you open um, Dolphin actually. Uh, highlight it. Right click it. Open We Save Folder. Click here. Take this one. Just make a... Actually cut it. Oh, no. You know what? You can actually copy it as well. Copy it. Close it. And just put it here on your desktop and drag it in and if you do everything right as I showed you exactly here then it's going to actually read your save file as the next time you do it because sometimes if you do download just the save file and try to put in the pickaxe it might be distorted distort I think you say I'm sorry for my English guys I'm not from the US I'm gonna be honest here so um, that's how you fix it I hope this video helped you guys guys I hope I could fix a lot of issues that you had in my last tutorial and with that all said let, I really don't like to see those shits on my um, screen and with that all said guys I'm gonna get the heck out of here have yourself a good day and bye bye else keep it cool and stay awesome my name is Emo from Emo Gaming and I'm freaking out of here peace